what's up virgo hey virgo happy thursday it is ashley here at fire intuition i am here to do your collective reading so this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising also venus or wherever you guys have virgo in your chart Alrighty. um so let's hop in y'all two quick announcements meet and greet tickets go on sale tomorrow manana <laughs> so i'm super excited about that y'all because y'all know my meet and greet is coming up august 19th in houston so i'm excited if you guys want more information the link is in the description box below all right and then the second announcement is i will be releasing a barbie box tomorrow so definitely check it out it will be on the community tab or if you guys are part of my email you guys will get an email all right so i have two big things dropping tomorrow definitely check it out um but yes that meet and greet y'all slash pool party and pop-up shop is august 19th and i can't wait i'm excited i wish it was like august 15th already <laughs> Or the 14th because that's my birthday but i'm celebrating it on the 19th and i would love to celebrate my birthday with y'all so definitely check it out virgo let's hop into your reading virgo we're going to start out with a spirit message all right and then we're going to pull some cord cutting cards and get into your reading all right let's see virgo summer rising also venus all right let's see what's going on with my virgo spirit spirit give me messages for virgo virgo Virgo. All right. Wow, Virgo. Look it. Love it. Celebrate success. So you guys are celebrating success. I do see leaves in the picture. So I want to say around fall, maybe around your birthday, because you see how there's like leaves in the picture. Okay. So it says, be proud of what you have achieved. You've struggled long and hard enough to get to this moment. So a lot of you guys been going through it, Virgo. And y'all deserve all of this success that is coming towards you, okay? It could be coming sooner. Only reason I say fall is because I'm looking at, like, the background, the leaves. And it reminds me kind of like a daylight savings. So, you know, like, right now, it's summer. So, usually, like, going in, is it the fall, like, going into the winter? You know, like, how they change the time and we lose an hour. Do we lose an hour? Yes, we lose an hour. All right, and at the bottom, we have number 70, the unseen. So, yes, I feel like this is something you don't see coming. And it says, there's a greater force at work behind the scenes, taking care of all the details. Let go of your specific spe specific expectations. So, yes, um, this looks really good, Virgo. Okay, you guys are blinded to the success that is coming towards you guys. It's also saying, like, don't focus on one thing just let something naturally and organically come towards you it's coming okay and it's gonna be good i feel it virgo so yes congratulations all right let's see let's pull some um cord cutting cards let's see who or what you guys need to let go of or you know like what this no longer serves you at this time virgo let's see messages for virgo what no longer serves virgo at this time what no longer serves virgo at this time Virgo at this time. Oh, you guys got four cards that came out. So let's see. Arguing over something on social media. All right. If not, you guys can just be doing a lot of arguing. There's a lavender here, meaning like it's just time to be calm, let something go. Okay. Um, or just like not argue so much. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Virgo. Ooh, okay, got served. So somebody is getting their karma. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, Virgo. I don't know where all those sneezes came from. Mm, 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 mm. But somebody is getting their karma. Okay. Maybe y'all allergic to this motherfucker. Okay. Because the way I just sneezed. I'm sorry. Hopefully this is the last one, y'all. I'm sorry, Virgo. So let's see. False spiritual person takes credit for other people's creations and ideas. So you guys are letting go of a fake spiritualist. There's a fake ass spiritualist around you that's gonna get their karma. All right. Um, but you know what? Wow. Who is this fake ass spiritualist? Because there's somebody that is 
I feel like they're fake, but I also, I'm, I don't know why I heard dark. And I feel like whoever this is, it's like they, they're, they do dark work. And they're fucking with you in your relationship. So who is this fake ass spiritualist that's causing problems in your relationship? Wow. For some of you guys, this person ain't got no booty. But I'm not even trying to say it to be funny. I'm just looking at the picture. Like, she got a washboard booty, like a flat butt. Like, she don't got nothing back there. So, it could be somebody. It don't matter if they small or big. They ain't got no booty. Somebody could drive a motorcycle. Because she has a helmet on. Okay? We have concealed sexual items discovered. So, for some of you guys, something is going to be seen. You're going to see something. All right? Hmm. Let me see something. At the bottom, we got bitter. In mind games. Hmm. I don't know, but Ross is very interesting. Let me see. Let me one more message. Miserable. So somebody wakes up just to project their misery onto somebody else. So I don't know, Virgo, if this is you or the person you're dealing with, their person, I don't know. But there's somebody, like, there's this fake-ass spiritualist that is miserable. And they're sending negative energy towards you and your person. And they're very dark. And they're just causing problems. And I feel like that's what the arguing is about. Okay? Um, but we're going to see. Let's hop into your reading, Virgo. Because this is very interesting. Like, seriously, like... I, this is interesting, Virgo. Let's see. Mm -mm. Let's see, Virgo. Universe, spirit of my ancestors, please guide me through this reading for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Or wherever you have Virgo in your chart. Let's see, Virgo. What's going on, Virgo? You guys can be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo. Yep, we got that lovers and the five of pentacles. I don't know why somebody's trying to cause problems in your relationship. But let's see. Let's see how this person feels about you, Virgo. Whoever you're dealing with, let's see how they feel about you guys. All right, we have the tower. See, there's been some problems lately, some issues. Some problems and issues. Scorpio energy. Leo energy here for what they aren't telling you. The six of wands is here for um, their future intentions. We have the Empress, or are you wasting your time? How do you plan to? How do they plan on moving this relationship forward? Sorry, Knight of Wands, and potential outcome is Eight of Swords. So I see a lot of really good energy. Look, Queen of Wands here. I see a lot of good energy around you guys, Virgo. But it's like these two cards. It's like, see, look, there's there's tension, there's drama, conflict. See, like somebody is doing some shit. And I don't like it, though. I don't like it, Virgo, because I feel like you don't bother nobody. I feel like you be to yourself. I feel like you're being chill. But whoever this is, maybe they're just jealous. I don't know, Virgo. But we're about to see. There could be a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Libra involved. Okay? All your cards in the upright. So let's see what's going on, um, Virgo. You guys may hear some music in the background. I'm doing a cleansing in my office so alright alright so let's see Virgo for your person for how they feel about you guys let's see the tower so there has been some arguments some disagreements between you guys okay both you guys are coming out the tower okay so there can be a lot of arguing disagreements um, let's see why this tower is here page of wands yep you guys can be arguing, saying things that you guys don't mean to each other. But the page of wands are reversed is somebody that is loud, ignorant, disrespectful. You know, they're like quick to snap, go off, stuff like that with the page of wands reverse. Somebody is working on their mouth or their attitude. Okay. But also, I also see somebody like, um, like spending more time at work, more like at work. Like, so work is like their time to like chill and be to themselves. But it's like there is arguments or somebody is working later than normal. Mm, King of Wands reverse. Let's see. Three of Cups reverse. I don't know. I don't like that. You guys can be arguing about a third party, though, or about a fake ass friend. Okay? So there can be some gossip. There can be a fake friend. There can be some type of third party here. Okay? Somebody is feeling as if there's a third party between you guys. Or maybe this is how you feel, Virgo. Well, this is how they feel towards you. But it could be how you're feeling towards them. But they feel like you have a third party. Let's see why the Three of Cups is in reverse. Four of Cups. Yeah. Mm. 
because this person is feeling like they're just not getting your attention they may feel as if like they're not getting your attention this person could be kind of depressed sad bored yearning for your attention time ace of cups yeah somebody wants your attention somebody is like they feel like you're not giving them um the same amount of attention as before or like i said this could be interchangeable so maybe um this is how you are feeling toward your person you're like okay they're acting funny they could you know maybe you think they are with a third party or something like that but um for some of you guys the third party is like more so like their work it's like i don't really see it as a sexual thing i see the king of wands reverse yes could be but the king of wands also in reverse can be somebody pulling back their energy like they're not like giving in to you like they're just they're not you know taking action like they normally would do they're kind of falling back being to themselves all right this is somebody that feels like by them doing that that's their way of controlling the situation but we can double check let's go into the king of wands in reverse why is the king of wands in reverse we have the king of pentacles yeah no see so i feel like this is somebody that's really focused on their money work or something like that yeah the four of wands actually this person they want to be closer to you they want to be around you four of wands this is somebody that wants to come home be around you spend more time with you you know so they're pulling back their energy because you're pulling back your energy you feel like there's a third party one of you guys do have a fake ass friend around you though so be careful about you know what you what you say to this person what you're telling them let's see why the sun is here this is for what they're not telling you knight of pentacles reverse more virgo energy that's you yeah see the empress so hmm i don't they just got this energy of like not really offering much not giving nothing the knight of pentacles that's the knight of pentacles is like moving slow not offering nothing not doing anything but the empress is here with the sun so it's like deep down inside you mean everything to this person and they don't want to let this go they don't want to let you go but it's like they're acting like they don't care i don't know why they're doing that though see look five of wands i feel like it could be because of this dark energy yet the seven of swords it's like whoever is doing this it's making them do opposite of what they would normally do so if you guys are with somebody that's like very loving you know they cuddle you guys spend a lot of time together talk all the time it's like whatever you guys do it's there it's creating the opposite in your relationship right now so there could be arguing not really talking disagreeing stuff like that there's a lot of inner conflict a lot of blockages like a lot of like negative energy around you or your person possibly both of you guys but it seems more towards you virgo um because this is your reading but let's actually look into this false spiritualist let's go let's look into this yeah let's see why is the fake spiritualist here and whoever this is they're gonna get their karma though so it's like it's gonna backfire on them in their relationship so let's see false spiritualist why is the false spiritualist out here king of cups the lovers could be a water sign or a gemini or somebody that is like gemini cancer cusp that's doing this the shape card leo so like i told you this person like they're they're like false and like fake you know but it's like they're also dark and so whatever they're doing is very powerful like what i mean by fake is like well what i'm getting is like i feel like this person knows what they're doing but when it comes to spirituality they may not know everything you know they may leave people on or have people think or believe certain things but when it comes to the dark side i definitely feel like they're tapped in there you know um three of pentacles hmm. so this is somebody that either you or your person has spent money with or invested in they know a lot about you guys' relationship it could be like so virgo be careful if you guys have been wanting somebody about for like any type of root work or anything like that or like any ritual spells or just telling them your business or somebody that you know that's into spiritual work you're telling them your business it's like they may be saying they're helping you but like not like taking your money but doing it in a negative way like in a bad way like it's not like in a positive way so you may be feeling like okay things are working out things are going to be better and it's just not getting better so you got to be careful Virgo, sometimes because these motherfuckers be fake but whoever this is they're going to get their karma though for what they're doing to you guys you're um yep see i told you it's somebody that you invested in paid you know um you may work with them you may work with this person or you work with them before it's something like that with the three of pentacles okay um let's see let me get another card for this fake, fake spiritualist 
Yep. See, I told you the high priestess. Yeah. So they do know certain things, but I feel like they don't know everything. Or this person is just so into like taking your money. Like, oh yeah, I can do this. I can fix this. I can do this for you. And they don't know what the fuck they're doing. It could be that too. But for others of you, yeah, you have an idea or know who it is. Let me see why you got served here with the karma card. Why is this here for Virgo? Why is this here? Look, see, look, I'll tell you. They're going to get their motherfucking karma. Look, not a cup favors because they're causing more problems than bringing good to the relationship. So the Knight of Cups would tell me, like right now, you guys are heartbroken, sad. Your person could be cheating on you, doing certain things. You can feel like it. It's just like um, this person has the energy of um, being obsessed with coming back to them as well, spending money, investing in them. Um, it's just causing more trouble. You know, it's, it's disappointing you and bringing you down more than it's making you happy. So, yeah, whoever this is. So let's see. Let's see why the Six of Wands is here. All right, this is what their future intentions are. So let's see, six of wands for Virgo. Why are the six of wands here for Virgo? The hermit, that's your energy, Virgo. Eight of swords or reverse. So you guys are gonna go within, meditate, think about something or something you're thinking about. Um, But this is like a positive change. And this is also in your person's intention. So let me see. Whatever was, your person is gonna come back to you in return, yes, but in a better way. Um, they're doing a little, they're doing some reflecting right now. This person is carrying some type of heavy burden. They have like a lot going on. They are going to return to you. They are going to come back. This person doesn't want to move on from you. I will say that, um, your person also was lacking self-worth. Okay. Um, and was lacking confidence, self-worth. Like, you know, I, whoever you guys are dealing with Virgo, they just had a lot of stuff going on, but now they feel like they're in a much better place. They feel like when they come back, when they return, they're going to be in a much better place and a lot more stable. And that when they do come back to the relationship will be like successful and able to move forward and they can give you the things that you want. It's not even about the material things. It's just like whatever it is that was lacking or that you felt that you needed from them, you're going to get it in the, um, when they return the chariot. That's success. Yes. The will of fortune. Yes. So there's going to be a successful return when they come back and this person will be going through their karma. It can be a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Knight of Cups is usually Scorpio energy. Um, so yeah, somebody just, I, somebody was doing, doing some dumb shit. Yeah. See, and your person is an energy of like this thinking. They're thinking about a lot of things, a relationship, everything that you invested, you know, just everything you guys been through, but if there was like some type of change out of nowhere, out the blue, Virgo, it's it's, it's because one of you guys went to somebody, you know, and, t and it had to be somebody. I don't see this as like, a, it could have been a reader that just gave you terrible advice and just fucked everything up. But I'm not really seeing it that way. I'm seeing it as somebody that is into like, like I said, root work. Somebody that's into like rituals, spells, stuff like that. Somebody that told you like, oh, if you pay this, I'll help you do this or that. Or like, I'm not even trying to be funny but you know sometimes when people go on what is it like uh feed fiber or like little websites and stuff like when you pay like super cheap for rituals and stuff you got to be careful like sometimes it's on se2 and i'm not throwing shade to nobody but when you go on those sites and you don't know those people are never work with them you have to be very careful because you don't know what work they're doing or how they work yeah the comments sometimes can be really good that's just like a google review to me there's been some places where i've seen bad reviews and i have have got excellent service or there's places that i've been to like five star fours five star places and they're like oh it's so great if the phenomenal service the food was excellent and i had a terrible experience so it's a 50 50 so i get it but sometimes those people you don't know them who they are, what they're all about, and they could just have been taking your money and, and sending negative energy to you, okay? So, uh, I feel like if, you have, if you're not connected to somebody to where you feel like you resonate with them on a soul level, then I wouldn't probably do it, you know? Because you'll want to go to somebody that's safe and secure. Maybe your person didn't know, okay? One of you guys didn't know, but either way it goes, you're gonna, they're going to get their karma. So, it doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, like, moving forward, you got to be very careful when it comes to spiritual work. I don't give a fuck if it's a cleansing or Reiki. I don't care if it's whatever, a blockage removal, cork, whatever it is. You have to have trust and faith in that person, okay? So, yes. Yeah. So, let's see. We have the Empress here. So, are you wasting your time, Virgo? Let's see. The Empress will tell me no. You guys can be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. Nine of Pentacles. No, you're not. You guys are both working on yourselves, um, is what I'm seeing, which is really good. You're not wasting your time. You're stepping into your independence, um, Virgo. 
which is really good like your money is about to start increasing you're really focused driven focused on what you want what you want out of life you're cutting out the bullshit you're cutting out certain people, cutting off certain people. Queen of Swords is here. The Queen of Wands is all about the future. This is someone that is like going back to like childhood. Like, oh, I remember when I was a kid, I said, I always wanted to do this. This was my dream job or career. Or it's just like somebody is stepping back into like a you for innocent energy. Like, look, this is me. I'm free. This is what I want to do. You know, so it looks really good. But it looks like you and your person are both like going through stuff and healing um just in different phases not in a it's not a bad thing but what they're going through and what you're going through is two separate things but it looks like you guys are evolving in a positive way because they have the will of fortune and a chariot success coming into their life they're going to get rewarded for something your person um virgo because of all their hard work and dedication see how she has the um see how she has the like the water pitcher like she's planting her flowers. So somebody has been plants like watering their flowers. I didn't mean to say plant flowers. They've been watering their flowers. So somebody has been like invested in themselves, their business, their job, their career, whatever this is. And somebody's gonna get the fruits of their labor with the chariot and the um will of fortune. A lot of success. And then you have success coming in and it comes with a lot of growth, maturity. Okay. Cause the six of cups, well, usually the six of cups are universe is a card of like maturity growing up. You know, um, focusing on your future and stuff like that. But how I'm seeing it with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, this is you cutting out the bullshit, cutting out people that are in your way of your success. Because the Empress is very abundant. She glows. She's she, you're, like you're in your glowing phase or about to step into your glowing phase. And then you guys got the um, Celebrate Success card. So that looks really good too. All right. Um, so let's see. Knight of Wands temperance in reverse so this is how do they plan on moving this relationship forward so i do see you guys clashing and getting into it temperance in reverse all right are there still some type of imbalance let's see what this is about could be a sagittarius you guys are dealing with what is this about ace of swords so you guys may clash or get into it one one more time it's not going to be bad as like the tower but i will say with the ace of swords somebody is going to speak some truth and somebody is being honest about their feelings and how they feel and not feel like it needed to come out and sometimes you know when you um you know when we get into an argument and you say things and it's like that person is finally telling you how they feel or speaking on something that's what this is going to be about and either they're not going to know this is how you feel or you're you're not going to know this is how they feel but you're going to get the clarity there's going to be some type of clarity all right there's going to be a breakthrough and you guys are going to be able to talk and look see look we have the tower but look the tower comes with the king of swords speaking some truth through an argument or some type of disagreement but bringing you guys closer together queen of pentacles so I love it. You guys understanding each other. Somebody is going through the death of the ego, okay, are going through a major transformation, but it's also increasing their finances. It's bringing balance to the relationship and it's bringing you guys closer together, okay? Or it can be that whoever this fake ass pitch was over here, they're getting their karma. Whatever was on you guys is being removed and released. And now all the things that were supposed to happen that were delayed are finally happening. Okay, so like whatever they blocked for you guys, or whatever they delayed or whatever they whatever they caused, now that is being removed. Okay, so don't be um don't be shocked if whoever this is, like a lot of bad stuff starts happening to them. They start reaching out to you like, girl, this and that, or you know, this this and that happen, or you start seeing them on social media with certain stuff, or they break up with their person, or they go through a breakup, divorce, separation, or something happened with their kids or whatever, because you just never know what the universe's karma is towards that person, right? But some shit is about to start happening or going down with this person, just to let you guys know. So, um... So, let's see... Let's see. Why is Eight of Swords here? This is the potential outcome. Page of Swords. Somebody's going to finally get out of their head. Something's going to make sense. Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords. Somebody was hurt. Somebody was hurt and stressed and sad. Okay. Um, there was a lot of negative feelings or thoughts in somebody's head or mind. 
even though they knew you loved them or you knew they loved them, somebody just had a lot of negative thoughts and feelings around them. But I feel like this was just the energy from whoever this fake spiritualist was that was putting that in somebody's head or making them feel like this. Let me see. Some of you guys got a jar, went to a spirit. Like, y'all did something. Like, something. It's it was it was something they were doing something for you guys but something is about to shift and change yeah you guys went through it it was making you guys go through it and you were starting to judge your person and feel some type of way some of you guys were ready to turn your back and walk away from your person like fuck it i'm done i can't do no more queen of wands that see the chariot yeah things are going to move and go go in your favor look the sun is here you're going to finally get what you want your relationship with your job career finances all of that four pentacles I, your purse is not going anywhere. I see you guys being happy and working through things. It is going to take a while for the energy to, you know, fade. But you guys are going to be good. Yep. See, you guys are going to reconnect and be good. It's just things were stagnant. But I feel like even though this was a fucked up situation, it also made you guys look at things in life from a different perspective. So it's like it was a fucked up situation, but it also put you in a position of like just seeing life and things differently counting your blessings and it was also preparing yourself so somebody's fuck up a mistake was actually a blessing for you guys okay so let's pull your love cards let's see what's going on materialistic love let's hope this relationship is not just about the money and gifts you will only end up feeling miserable so virgo i don't know what this is that's about but let's see mm. you guys can be dealing with a fire sign that feels like this or maybe you feel like this virgo one of you guys is very materialistic the nine of cups yeah that's that's like that's a self-love card but it's also like um it's like when a person's spirit spoils or self like materialism and stuff. So, Virgo, you can either be dealing with somebody that's like this or you're like this. And your person is just like, dang, like, I love you. But, like, and it's not that they don't want to do things for you, but they feel like you base a lot of things off materialism or you may feel like they base a lot of things off materialism. But I just feel like if it's saying that it will make you miserable with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands here, it's just like at the end of the day, is this really what you want? Like, do, do you want their love or you want the materialism? You know, or is this going to push your partner away? Either way, we have devil in disguise. So let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, Virgo. So there's somebody that's trying to pursue you or that was trying to pursue you. Could be a fire sign or a water sign. Be careful because they're a devil in disguise. They appear to be or look like an angel. Okay, but they have a dark hidden side. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. So you guys could have went to like a fire sign or a water sign. Whoever this fake spiritualist could be. We do have Pisces over here. We do have Cancer and Scorpio. Okay, as well. But let's pull some additional love cards for Virgo. Oh, let's see. We have teamwork. Whatever you lack, they got you and vice versa. You have found your, found your teammate in love and in life. So, yeah. So, your person or how you feel, you're like, as long as you got my back, I got your back. And I feel like that's how it should be anyway, though, Virgo. And then we have... Healing love. So you guys are healing. This love will force you to heal all parts of yourself. Aww. You deserve healthy love. So you guys are in a place of like healing. And that's what I was seeing. Okay. Um, in the reading. And then last one we have fairy tale romance. So yes. This romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happy ever after. So you guys do have some type of happy ever after coming in. You know, when it rains, we're looking for so after the storm, there will come happiness. Yes, there definitely was some type of imbalance here. Somebody was being hot and cold and stuff, but it's it's you guys are definitely being tested. The strength card is here. Yeah. I just feel like whoever this is resonating with, y'all were going through so much in your relationship, and it was back to back to back to back to back. But now it's over. And a lot of it had to do with this, like I said, this fake spiritualist, but you're going to get good karma, and your relationship is going to shift and change for the positive, and they're going to get their karma and... 
yeah and you guys will be able to move forward so this was it i feel like this was a good turnout though I, I don't know what you guys been through or how it made you feel virgo but i definitely see the positive in it which to me is good because now you got to worry about this fake person what they're doing and your relationship is going to come together for some of you guys i definitely see some type of um commitment you know it could lead to marriage moving in together you know something very serious with these cards here all right so think about that as well okay for some of you guys it's going to make you realize or make you you know see like is this the person you really want to be with or maybe that's how they're feeling or both of you guys are feeling you know um but whatever whatever happened you guys will get through it all right virgo so that is what i have for you guys if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell all right and if you guys love to book fireintuition.com all righty bye virgo